and um, it's, it's just a it's just a wonderful one. It's so wonderful. But I'm, I'm not going to teach you how to do. It. I'm going to give you permutations now. Okay. Um, the the reason why is there's so many people here that can teach you how to. And um, and so I, I just I'm going to change your thought. And it might be something you already do. But let's, let's, let's give it a little sim uh, a simple uh, perspective. Okay, um, you be taught it. Okay, um, people go, but no one bends your fingers. But if he's sobbing, if he's sobbing in jujitsu, he's going to go out for you. He's going to go small, uh, uh, Chris Peterson. He'll be the first one to say, oh, small joints work. When you look at small joints, if you take this one hand and you just look at the fingers, there's three joints on each finger, there's 15 joints on this one hand. If I go, if I go, oh, you'll be, I, I, got, I, got, I got big joints. And so I can move from small joints to big joints. Okay, and so given that fact, let's look at it like that. Okay, uh, here we go. Person comes in like that. Now I, I, I see, you know, I, you know you, you, a lot of people where they'll come boom and they'll pop like that. And that's wonderful. And because I guess, you know, I, I, if, if I go into the hamburger store, I want the milkshake, french fries, and hamburgers, and the apple pie for the same price. And so basically when a person, boom, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send a shockwave. If I do this, yeah, that's going to hurt. It's going to piss him off, but it, it's not going to stop the aggression. Okay, so anyway, let's stop the aggression. So the minute, the minute he goes to move, I lost the thumb. This lost it, this creates the base. Now the base is set. Okay, <coughs> now there's nothing he, he can do. Now, on this position, I locked the pin. Okay, now I got maximum proficiency in medicine. He will throw himself on a nuclear bomb and get me if I tell him to. Okay, there's nothing he can do. Okay, and this is the power of jujitsu. This is the power of jujitsu. If I wanted to do my kempo, if I wanted to go renzuku ate, if I want to continue his hit, there is nothing he can do. I own this man. And if I own one joint, I own all his joints. Okay, I can move from joint to joint. Okay, um, Professor Jay was famous for this. He was famous for it. And actually, he wasn't just small circle. He, just, he was a great judo person. He was a great martial artist. He was an innovator. Okay? And he would manipulate so many joints on your body as Mr. P. I get the point when, when, when you see Mr. J. It was like, hey, Mr. J, how are you doing? <laughs> Put your fingers out there. Okay, so anyway, here we go. The minute the guy moves, I get. And the move I get, I set my bed. Here, I create a shot, I eliminate this arm, come inside, and reverse it, move it into the position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit, I'm going to create a base as I break his arm. Now people go, oh, that's not in my system. Yes, it is. Come see me 25 years from now, and you'll go, oh, okay. Because it's in your system. It's, it's as simple. You know? So basically, the minute the person reaches for my hand, I lock the joint. Now, here's the thing. I lock the joint. Not only did I lock the joint, took out his primary weapon. took out his primary weapon. I can go into Shimei, I can go into Nagi, I can go into any throw. I can do any throw. I can do anything I want because I own that one joke. <coughs> it's a very, very simple joke. Okay. There's some reach jazz, just move. One, two, create the base. Now this base is very, very, very important. His counter motion is to push his elbow down. Boom, he's out. He's out of the joint. Wait, so now my attending moves. He doesn't get that. There is never a failure to detonate when I do martial arts. I'm ready. I have my backup. My backup has backup. Okay, this is very, very, very important. I will tell you the strengths and weakness of Danzaru. You don't have enough attending. That is why a professor started interjecting the temple. You do not have enough attending. And if you don't know how to punch correctly, how can you defend? against the punch. If you don't know how to do, throw a proper kick, how can you defend against a kick? It's all based on coherent synthesis. You have, to synth you have to be able to synthesize because you understand. You have to understand there are strengths and weaknesses. I don't, I zone against the strengths, but mostly I exploit the weakness in the strength because I understand what you're doing. All strengths have weakness. And karate, there is no first attack. You know why? He is covered. He's in a covered position. The minute he moves and makes a motion, the minute he makes a motion, he's open. He's open. That's why it's called self-defense. Okay. So, okay, slow motion. So the person goes to move. I'm going to rock, boom, walk. 
take that what take that weapon. Now I'm in Osei Watsa. I got complete mobilization. From here, I'm gonna turn. Now I'm just now I'm using my body as a base. Once again, uh, this is not mine. I actually kind of learned this between my teacher and Professor Kuprat and Wally J. And then I come in here. <coughs> Boom, I lock the joint. Now if I get the joint, he's gonna start his rotation. He's gonna watch his spin because he's going in the energy. I just shoot across. There's no more spin. Now he's in total, and, and like I said, in total control. You know, um, and, and this is very, very wonderful. But sooner or later, I have to go to the bathroom, I have to go home, eat lunch, and, and the minute I let go of him, the great starts. Because he's gonna be pissed off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this out and I'm gonna neutralize this weapon. Boom. I'm just gonna bust it. From here, I'm gonna go Gianco. I'm gonna reverse it from this point. His motion is going to start his rotation, and then I'm gonna reverse it and do Kote Giyash. Okay, now let's look at Kote Giyash. Let's look at Kote Giyash. This is not Kote Giyash. Um, excuse me, just back my head. When he goes, he's taking my head. You create a big circle, he gets, a, he gets an avenue of escape. Kote Giyash comes down from the hot. The source of my energy comes from here. So when I go Kote Giyash, comes from here. This is where my energy is. It's not up here. Okay? It's down here. So when you do Kote Giyash, you want to keep it tight. The closer he is to me, the more painful it's going to be. And the bigger the thing is, is this skip. You ever watch Aikido? Give me a hand. You watch this when you come in like this. Woo! He's gone. Okay? I got to go get a bazooka to take him out of his misery because he's too far away. I can't hit him. Okay? So we don't do that. <coughs> That's a big circle. The bigger the circle allows an avenue of escape. Okay, so we don't want to do that. So I want to keep him close to me. I want to <coughs> manipulate him so when we move, I come up and create my base. See, he's tight. Look how tight he is. Watch how tight he is. Oh! Okay? He's tight, he's tight. Boom, okay, right there. Okay? And when in this position, you can take him out. Okay. You got three minutes. 